This tutorial will demonstrate how to make a payment and register for courses at Centennial College. A minimum payment is required before you are allowed to register. Once you log into My Centennial, you can access both the fee estimate and payment pages by clicking on Student, then Registration. Under My Account, look up Make a Payment and View Fee Estimate. If you click on Fee Estimate, this is where you can view estimated fees and due dates for the academic term. Note that you can also print a copy of this information. To make a payment, click the Pay Now button at the top of the page. Then click on Payment Breakdown to see your available payment options and how each option is calculated. The calculations for payment options include your term fees and account balances, if applicable. To choose your payment option, click the drop-down menu. You can also opt for a customized total by selecting Enter Any Amount. A transaction receipt will automatically be sent to your My Centennial email address. You can also have it sent to an additional email address. Click Submit Payment. Here's where you'll have a chance to select your payment method, enter payment information, and review order details. If everything looks good, click Process Transaction. Once complete, you'll be able to print or download a receipt for your records. For more information on making payments, please consult the fee estimate and payment videos. You can find links to web registration in My Centennial by clicking on Student, then Registration. Important registration dates customized for you can be found under Registration Information, where you will see important web registration dates. Under Registration Information, look for the link to access web registration. Alternatively, if you are already in the Student Service menu, click Registration, and then click on the Web Registration link to proceed. If there is a hold preventing you from registering, you will be notified. To get more information on the hold, select View Holds. You should now be on the landing page of the Web Registration application. Select the registration term. If you are enrolled in a block-based program, you will need to select an assigned plan to continue. There are two panels on the registration page. Select Courses and Schedule Results. For block-based programs, a list of courses should automatically appear in the Select Courses panel once the registration page has loaded. If you don't see the list of courses, click the Semester Block button to import courses. In course-based programs, courses are selected from the registration program plan. For additional information on the specific registration modes, please consult the videos for block-based and course-based registration. If the selected courses contain an elective, choose one of the available electives using the drop-down list. You can use the drop-down arrow to see course details that include descriptions, canvases, sections, and any requirements. To navigate the Schedule Results field quickly, use the arrow keys at the top of the page or the arrows on your keyboard. The Display Schedule Results represent all available schedule combinations containing the selected courses. The classes in the Courses panel are displayed in the Schedule Results area as a weekly timetable. If a course has no scheduled times, it will not be displayed on the weekly timetable, but is visible in your semester timeline below the schedule. Courses being delivered face-to-face -face or synchronously will be displayed on the timetable. Depending on the number of schedule results available to you, you may want to use the following tools to find your preferred schedule. Scheduling results are according to what best corresponds with selected criteria. Available schedule results can be sorted using a drop-down menu populated by these criteria. Classes can also be filtered with a slider to include search results containing classes running with online and on-campus designations. Both are included by default. To check section details, look for the Legends slider bar. This will expand another section to reveal course registration numbers, start and end date, room location, assigned faculty, and more. You can also filter courses by campus. On the top left of the Select Courses panel, click on Campuses. You'll see that all locations are selected by default. Click on Select None to remove all choices, then add your preferred campuses. If you choose a campus where one or more of the selected courses isn't offered, you'll see a red message. This will appear below each affected course, and no results will display in the Schedule Results panel. 
To reduce the number of results on the Schedule Results panel, remove individual course sections using the Selected Courses panel. Pin a class to a timetable to narrow down the number of results. In the Schedule Results panel, do this by either clicking on the class in the timetable or by clicking on the class under Legend. You can also pin classes on the Select Courses panel by clicking on the Course Section code, which will then be displayed as pinned under the legend. All remaining search results will include the specific course sections, which were pinned. You can also designate personal times. This identifies the times you prefer to avoid scheduled classes. Click and drag on the timetable, indicating the day and time you prefer not to have scheduled classes. Your schedule results now show options that best avoid your personal times. After finding your preferred schedule by pinning classes, filtering results, and selecting different sections, you're ready to submit the schedule. On the bottom of the schedule results, click the Get This Schedule button. After reviewing the list of classes and actions, click the Do Actions button. The results will either show as registered, or you may see a message indicating why registration was unsuccessful. For example, you do not meet the prerequisite requirements for a particular course. On the bottom right, you can click on Return to Select Courses to review selections. The Select Courses panel will show that you are now enrolled in the added sections. To drop a course in which you have already enrolled, click on the trash icon in the course box under Select Courses. This will prompt a red message that tells you to click on the Get This Schedule button. Under the Options column, Web Drop is displayed. Next, click the Do Actions button. Now that you're finished, you can click the Return to Select Courses button and go to the registration page where you can review your list of registered courses. 